How do you connect objects inside a C4D so they have these nice cool ribbons flowing between them and these cables where you can actually grab them and move them around and they adjust automatically and you don't have to worry about dynamics or anything. You can adjust them. Super easy to use, very cool, and it's not behind a paywall anymore. So let's go ahead and learn this. But let's go ahead and connect these two objects. We've got two objects here. What we need to do, create a matrix scatter. With the matrix scatter selected, switch it to object. What we need to do is connect these two objects to make it one object. To do that, use a connect. Put both toruses or objects inside the connect. Go to the matrix scatter, switch it to object, drag and drop the connect in there. We've created spots. These are where our cables are going to connect. You can adjust the amount of these. Now we need to connect lines between these two objects. In order to do that, we're going to click and hold here, go to tracer, open that up, switch it from trace paths to connect all objects. It's going to connect everything between our matrix objects. There we go. Now, all we have to do is go into the asset browser, type in cat. I highly suggest you favorite this because it's not easy to remember. Catenary spline modifier for cables. But here we go. We grab that, toss it on our tracer. Boom. Instant cables. And if you want to adjust these, you can. Voila, adjust the sag, the variation. I highly suggest doing that. And then in order to render this out, you can either put them in a spline or I highly suggest actually just using the redshift render tag, putting in a redshift object tag on the tracer, switching it to capsules, and you can adjust the thickness of that. Throw material on all of this. You probably want to turn off your matrix objects so they don't render, but there you go. If you like this quick kind of tutorial, let me know in the comments below and leave a like. Thanks.